hello viewers welcome back to the channel and i want to use this opportunity to congratulate all the WIAC graduates for the stellar performance in the 2020 wase exams but you should also take note that despite your good performance in your wase exams universities can still deny you admissions if you don't take time to read the entry requirements and also abide by their cutoff points and this is very very important so if you know that you think you are somewhat confused with a particular requirement for a program please visit the official university website or you can send me an email and i'll be glad to assist you as best as i can in today's video we are going to look at planning enjoying and having a successful stay in the university so you don't get stressed out and confused during your early days as a fresher and because now we are not in normal times university have also proposed online teaching and learning for both freshers and continuous students accommodation too may be run like the shs double track system where for instance level 100 and 400 may come to campus for a period 200 and 300 may also come for another period and just to remind you these are all proposals meaning they are likely to be restructured based on the president's nation address so let's see how things go come next year 2021 so my major focus in this presentation is looking at settling university school fees securing accommodation visiting the freshest guide homepage all registration as well as SLC registration, university rules and regulations, and university academic registration. Let's take a look at the school fees management when you gain admission to your preferred university successfully. Student fee payment is an integral part of the registration process. Students must at least pay the minimum required fees before they will be allowed to undertake the academic registration as well as the residential registration. You must pay the required minimum fees before you can register and also secure accommodation. The required minimum fees for the year can be found in the schedule of fees or the admission letter when you gain admission to your preferred university successfully. But something you must know is that not all fees are the same. Science students often pay more fees than non-science students. There is also the regular fees as well as students who opted for fee paying. So I'll quickly demonstrate online to viewers where to locate and update yourselves as well as plan for the future with regards to paying school fees for both the University of Ghana as well as the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Using the Google search engine, I'm going to simply type the University of Ghana. You make sure you click on the official homepage of the University of Ghana, that is www.eug.edu.gh. So upon viewing on the official homepage, make sure you look out for featured links. And under featured links you should find schedule of fees so we click on schedule of fees and in the schedule of fees page you realize the University of Ghana has officially updated the fees for the 2020-2021 academic year and it's even grouped into colleges that is the College of Education College of Basic and Applied Sciences College of Health Sciences, College of Humanities, Residential Fees, University of Ghana Business School Special Programs. And there are some few notices you must also take note. The minimum amount to be paid in percentage terms before a student can have access to register for the 2020-2021 year is as follows. The academic registration is 50% before registration for first semester slash modular one and 30 percent before registration for second semester slash modular two and the final 20 percent before examination for semester modular two whilst the residential registration you pay 100 percent for semester modular one fees 
So let's quickly look at the fees which is being grouped into their various colleges and let's look at the College of Humanities. It gives you a PDF file format showing the various type of fees for freshmen and continuing students. So for the undergraduate regular programs, all first years that is freshmen is paying 1516 Ghana cities for the humanities and the humanities includes the Bachelor of Arts programs. Whilst the Bachelor of Science in Administration and the Bachelor of Law, the fees is 1608 So the continuing students are going to pay a little bit less than that of the freshmen. And the fees is 1098 CDs. And that of the continuing students, the fees are a bit much less. And it's 1098 CDs for the humanities and 1190 CDs for the admin and law. Level 200 freshmen, this is for those who are coming to the university in level 200 or diploma to degree applicant and their fees for the humanities is 1,565 CDs and that of the admin and the law is 1,657 CDs. So the fees for post first degree law is also stated here as well as that of the part time. So moving on to the full fee paying program, that of first year's humanities is going for 3,990, almost 4,000 CDs. And that of Bachelor of Science in Administration and Law is going for 4,887 CDs. Continuing students are to pay 3,572 CDs. And that of the admin and law is going for 4,465 CDs. And the diploma to degree top up students will be paying 4,039 CDs, whilst the admin and law is 4,936 CDs. Undergraduate fees at the Accra City campus is also as follows. That of level 100 of freshmen is going to pay 3,007 CDs for the Bachelor of Arts or Humanities programs. And that of the Business Administration is going to pay 3,538 CDs. For continuing students, the fees drops to 2,589 CDs for the Humanities, whilst the Bachelor of Science in Administration students will pay 3,100 CDs. 65 cities so please take your time go through the schedule of fees and plan for the amount of fees you are to pay for the 2020 2021 academic year we also have fees for international students that is students who are coming to the university of ghana from abroad and are also non ghanaians their fees are respectively stated under the schedule of fees and their respective programs. So we move on quickly to the College of Health Sciences. And under the College of Health Sciences, we have programs like medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, biomedical and allied health sciences, as well as nursing and their fees for all the four years are respectively stated as well as the clinical years. So for instance, medical school, the first year is 2047 CDs and it follows like that for second and third year. And these are regular fees. So moving on to full fee paying, that of medicine is going for 6,773 Ghana CDs. You realize in the second year it moves up to 8,089 CDs and the third year it goes down to 7,929 CDs. And that of the clinical years is 8,242 CDs. So per the program you are applying for, just take a look at the respective fees you'll be planning to pay for the 2020-2021 academic year and make plans for it. That of international students is also stated in US dollars and that of medical school is going for $13,946 and that of the clinical years is $11,755 US dollars.
Let's also quickly look at the schedule of fees for the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And on the official page, we are interested in academics. So we click on the drop down button of academic and we go to fee schedule for the 2019 2020 academic year. And you realize all the fees are stated in categories. We have that of regular freshers, regular continuing students, that is from the second to the sixth year. We also have that of the fee paying freshers and the fee paying second to the sixth year, undergraduate parallel freshers, undergraduate parallel second to third year, and undergraduate parallel fourth year. And you should take note that Ghanaian students are required to pay relevant fees as specified into King UST Mains Fees Collection Account at any of the following banks. And all the banks where you can pay your fees are stated and that's also for the international students. So let's take a look quickly at that of the regular freshers. And you realize the fees are also grouped into the schools, that is the School of Humanity and Social Sciences the sciences, the engineering, applied sciences, and that also of the health sciences. So for the humanities and social sciences, freshmen are paying 1,351.43 CDs for academic fees. That of residential fees is going for 1,002 CDs. And the grand total is 2,354.18 CDs. The same for the School of Sciences, the School of Engineering, Applied Sciences, as well as the School of Health Sciences. All their fees are respectively stated on the official website of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And you are to take note that students are required to pay the relevant fees as specified and residential fees into KNUST's main fees collection account at any of the following banks and the banks are all stated where you can make the necessary payment. Residential fees and academic fees should be paid separately into the same account using different paying slips for each fee item. And you should take note that residential and academic fees are to be paid separately. You are also expected to take an x-ray examination as well as a medical examination as a freshman of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. So let's quickly look at the fees for full fee paying students and that is for freshers. So first year freshers who offer any of these programs that is accounting and culture, tourism, English, political studies, religious studies, geography and rural development, history, linguistics, French and Francophone studies as well as communication studies under the full fee paying policy are to pay 5,580.90 CDs a year and that of the residential fees is 1,002.75 CDs making a grand total of 6,583.65 CDs a year. That of social work and sociology also have their respective fees that of law is going for 8,925.90 CDs and the residential fees also follows. So please take note of the program which you are applying for and plan for its respective fees accordingly. Securing University Accommodation Nowadays, staying and sleeping on campus or close to campus is very important for a fresher or even continuing students and has lots of benefits such as saving time and money. You don't have to travel longer distances for lectures. You can also take care and cook for yourself whilst you're on campus. It also helps you gain emotional independence and how to live with others from different backgrounds. For many, accommodation on campus is a place to socialize and build networking, which is very true because if you are not on campus or close to campus, you tend to miss out on many social gatherings and group meetings. But the problem nowadays most of the top universities is going through is that they admit more students than they can accommodate. So for the past two or three years, there has been a lot of accommodation crisis in these universities, leading to a lot of bribery and corruption. 
So for example, a bed which was being sold at 1000 Ghana CDs is now being sold at 2000 Ghana CDs to students. And there are a lot of illegal purchasing ongoing and can be very disheartening sometimes. So I'm going to guide you through genuine steps on how to secure university accommodation without having to pay any middleman huge sums of money. All students who have been admitted at full-time regular programs are qualified to be housed on the university campus. However, students who wish to stay out of campus may also opt to do so. So if you know you are a student of KNUST and you live at, let's say, Ejisu, or you are a student of the University of Ghana and you live around Medina, you can decide to be a non-residential student and also attend lectures equally. As a fresher, you must be quick to pay your school fees when admitted in order to have access to the accommodation portal. And you take note that paying of your school fees normally takes between 24 to 48 working hours for the money to reflect into your student's account details. Booking for accommodation. The university will officially announce to all freshers the date and time when the portal will be open for booking of their preferred halls or hostels. So please be checking on the official university website for any new announcements with regards to accommodation. And I will also do well to inform subscribers on my community tab and share the link if possible if there are new updates with regards to university accommodation. You should also have fast internet connection. So due to the huge amount of traffic on the website that day for accommodation booking, the internet connection might be very slow on that day. So you will need a high speed internet connection for you to be able to book a room during that time. Because of the high number of students also trying to secure accommodation for themselves. Upon successfully booking for accommodation, make sure to pay the required fees as soon as possible else that slot will be taken away from you. So if possible, you should make payment that very day and I'm speaking based on last year's experience and the touring moment freshers went through just to try securing accommodation for themselves. Please follow up to the hall or hostel for registration with your proof of payment for fees and accommodation to secure your room as soon as possible. So after you are done paying your accommodation fees at the bank, please follow up to the hall which you booked a room for as soon as possible so that you can secure the room for yourself. So again looking at steps on how to secure so again looking at the steps on how to secure accommodation at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology we officially visit their website we drag the Kesa to admission and look out for the freshest guide and under the freshest guide you will see accommodation so click on accommodation and the page is giving us relevant information with regards to the hall of residence which ones are mixed which ones are the male hall which ones are the females hall and what are the options there are six halls of residence and a number of hostels on the university campus they are queen elizabeth the second hall unity hall independence hall republic hall university hall and africa hall all the six halls of residence are mixed male and female. Of the five hostels, two are for postgraduate students, one for both undergraduates and graduate students, and managed by the university's staff supernation scheme, GUSSS. There is also information with regards to accommodation for international students, the non resident student facilities, and how residential facilities is administered. So let's quickly take a look at how to book for accommodation in case you gain admissions 
at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology as a fresher. So in order to book for accommodation, click on the apply now page. It takes you to a different home page where you will see book accommodation. So you click to book accommodation and there are some important announcements which you must also take note and it's officially welcoming you to the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology's accommodation application system. So you realize that this site hasn't yet been updated for freshers because accommodation was ongoing for those who reset for the last academic year. So let's proceed to log in and see what we get next. So it takes us to the room allocator page where you are to log in using your user number as well as your password. And to get these details, you must have gained admissions into the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Let's click on the instructions tab and look at the various instructions. Gaining access to the system. At the login, choose your room column on the home page. Enter your KNUST username and password in the required fields. Click on the login button. After successful login, your full name and the program of study shows up. Click on click here to choose your room, blue button to continue. And it also gives us instructions as to choosing your room. So please take time to read these instructions thoroughly so that you will know what to do during the time for room allocation. You are also to take note that you are to click on the print sheet to obtain a printed copy of your room selection. Finally, click on the log out at the top right corner of the page to close your session. You should also take note that failure to log out of the system may annul your chances of room, so endeavor to log out. Keep your slip and present it to your hall of residence on the day of reporting. So these are the simple instructions a fresher must go through in order to secure accommodation genuinely and not rely on any middleman who is likely to defraud you. Also looking at the accommodation process at the University of Ghana, we look out for the freshest home page by clicking on freshman info. On this home page, our interest is with accommodation. So let's look at the information under accommodation and it says the date for online residential application for undergraduate students seeking accommodation on the main campus will be announced soon. So as a freshman, when you gain admissions to the University of Ghana, the University of Ghana will indicate a date for all freshers to book for accommodation in due course. And there is also another notice that all students who have been opted for full-time Legon campus and Kolibu campus are required to make residential application. However, students who wish to stay out of campus should select no residence in the application process. And you can also take notice of the residential fees as of last academic year. Fortunately for us, the University of Ghana has updated these residential fees and we can take a look at the current fees for the 2020-2021 academic year. And the residential charges is at follows. The University of Ghana has decided to charge freshers or continuing students accommodation fees per modular sessions. So that of Legon Hall is 267 cities. It follows with Equafo, Commonwealth Hall, Volta Hall, and Mensa Saba Hall. You realize these are the five main traditional halls of the University of Ghana. International Students Hostel is also going for 1,064 CDs per modular session. That of Jubilee Hall is going for 384 CDs per modular session. Valco Hostel is going for 1,483 CDs per modular session.
Equafo Hall Annexi is also going for 486 CDs per modular session. We also have accommodation at the Kolebo campus and we have the SBAHS hostel and it's going for 552 CDs. That of R block, B block, BQ block are all going for 357 CDs. D block regular room is going for 416 CDs. And that for the D block postgraduate double and single are going for 557 CDs and 695 CDs respectfully. And you are to take note of this important information and it says all Ghanaian freshman students who will be admitted into residence will make an additional payment of 100 Ghana CDs as a levy for generator. And you can also make the payment online or through the following mediums or the banks that is standard chartered ecobank umb cbg republic gcb stambic access backless prudential as well as the ug pay we also have the university of ghana enterprises limited ugl halls and they are the elizabeth francis c hall Dr. Jean Aka Hall, Professor Kopon Hall, and the Dr. Hila Leman Hall, where undergraduates are all paying 820 CDs, whilst those offering masters are paying 1,280 Ghana CDs. Those under the University of Ghana Enterprise Limited are to pay their residential fees at Cal Bank only. And they are also to pay an additional fees of 100 Ghana CDs as levy for generator. Visiting the Freshers page. Every reputable university has a Freshers homepage on their official website, and this page provides you with the basic tips on how to start university life so you don't get confused from the beginning. It also explains to freshers plans in payment of fees, accommodation, registration, orientation, matriculation, campus life, and many more. The university website also shows the academic calendar that keeps students on track and up to date, balancing each area of your life in the university. The university handbook or the student guider. It can also be referred to as the university bible and includes all the regulations which all students must abide to have a successful stay in the university. It's like a storyteller reminding students of freshers all the activities they must abide to and defaulting such activities may have its consequences. So I'd like to urge every freshman or woman to take time and read the university handbook which is now available in soft copies at the official university website. It also includes programs, course titles, descriptions, codes, and the university required courses. So apart from the mandatory courses you are to register for, the university also have certain required courses you must also register for, and it's only the handbook that can guide you to know what to do. It also explains to freshmen and continuing students the requirements to satisfy them for their four-year degree program, making them eligible for graduation. It also talks about examinations, entering assessments, resets, deferments, more practices, and the number of credit hours you are to obtain for an academic semester, and many more. Moving on to university academic registration, and this is the most important process as a fresher, even more important than accommodation. Because if you don't register for the courses you are supposed to attend lectures and write your exams for, it means you are still not a student in the university's system. So please ensure to take this step with great seriousness because if you don't register for your courses, 
you will be ineligible to write your end of semester exams meaning you are not a student although you might have paid all your school fees and even your accommodation fees and you should take note that upon all these payments of fees it is still a must for you to register for your academic courses Note that you will be required to undertake your actual examination course registration after orientation. Look out for dates and venue for freshman orientation. Visit your various departments and know what courses you are supposed to register for at the level 100 first semester as well as the university's required courses. So let's quickly look at the University of Ghana's Freshers homepage. So on the home page, we look out for freshman info. You click on freshman info. And on the freshers home page, we have the 2019-2020 admissions list. So in case you want to check your admission status, you click on this link. And it says list of students admitted to various programs in the University of Ghana for the 2019-2020 academic year the payment of fees and the procedures on how to pay your school fees, steps for registration as well as accommodation. So let's quickly take a look at the procedure for your registration of your academic courses and it says admitted students should follow the instructions below to print out provisional admissions letters. So these are the steps for the online registration and you will need your student ID number as well as your five digit PIN number for the online registration. You will also need to activate your student email account. And it also talks about residential application online as well as payment of fees, academic registration online and you are to note that you will be required to undertake your actual exam course registration after orientation. Look out for dates and venue for freshman orientation. Online registration is through the MIS web, so click here to proceed to access the MIS web. Click on registration under the student eye enabler on the left side of the screen. So make sure to follow this procedures step by step and you will not have any challenge when you are enrolled as a freshman or a freshman in the University of Ghana and always make sure to print out your proof of registration and always do well to log out and exit out of the system. So let's quickly locate where we can find the University of Ghana handbook and under the academics tab you drop down go straight down to student handbook and with the student handbook we have that of all the four colleges that is the College of Humanities, College of Education, College of Health Science and the College of Basic and Applied Sciences. So let's look at that of the College of Humanities. And in the handbook, let's look at the various table of contents. And this is a volume two handbook for the bachelor's degree program, course descriptions for programs in the humanities, and was last published in September 2017. So moving on to the table of contents. So with the table of contents, we have the University of Ghana's required courses, sports for academic credit programs, we have also courses under the Business School, School of Languages, School of Performing Arts, School of Arts, School of Law, School of Social Sciences, School of Continuing and Distance Education, School of Information and Communication Studies, School of Education and Leadership, as well as the academic calendar of the University of Ghana. So it gives you a rundown of all the regulations as well as the code of conduct that governs the university. So these are some of the University of Ghana's required courses. So please take time and read the university's handbook thoroughly to have a better understanding of how the university is structured. So let's also quickly look at the freshman students regulations handbook. 
and this also provides the general information on the University of Ghana, the academic offices that represent the University of Ghana, the schools, the colleges, the head of departments, the directors of administrative directorates, the heads of halls, when the university was established and many more so if i keep scrolling down you get to see the college school institute centers and research facilities you get to see the admission requirements the preamble sub degree certificate diplomas the bachelor's degree the general requirement entry for level 100 for bachelor's degree programs are all explained in the regulations handbook. There is also regulation for junior members at the University of Ghana campus. By what I want you viewers to take note that these handbooks are very well packed. It's over 58 pages. So just find time to read the handbook. There is also regulation for bachelor's degree programs and many more. We also have sanctions for examination, more practice or offense and a breach of any of the regulations or instructions to candidates hearing may attract one or more of the following sanctions and any other sanctions prescribed by statutes of the university unless specific sanctions has been prescribed for the said breach. And all these sanctions are stated in the university handbook. So just find time and read the handbook upon gaining admissions into the university of Ghana. There's also procedures for handling examination, more practices, as well as other offenses. Also looking at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, let's quickly look at the Freshers home page and we can locate that at admissions and under admissions you can look out for Freshers guide which has information about accommodation, transportation, campus social life, correction of names, campus facilities, important offices, campus security, freshest medicals, examination, matriculation, orientation, registration, student ID cards, as well as student association. So let's quickly take a look at student registration for the available courses on campus. And all freshmen and continuing students are requested to visit the academic calendar page for the latest schedules and updates and also visit the schedule of fees page for updates. So please take time to read this process on how to register for your available courses. So let's quickly move on by locating the student handbook or the student guide for the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And to locate that, we go to students and look out for student guide. You click on student guide. And please take note of the information below. And one cardinal goal of the university is to assist her students and staff to become more competent purposeful and ethical through a teaching and learning environment with respect to dignity of all. So upon reading all this information, you click on read more to download the PDF copy of the handbook for Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. So upon viewing the student guide as well as the code of conduct, we are going to look out for the table of contents. And under the table of contents, we have the purpose of this student code and guide, a brief history of the university, administration of the university, all the colleges under the university, institutes of distance learning, school of graduate studies. Coming to the other parts of the handbook, we have the jurisdiction of the university, standards of classroom behavior, university conduct rules and regulation, alcohol misuse, conduct system misuse, destructive behavior, drug possession use, fire and safety equipment, as well as many 
other information that will help you and guide you through a successful stay at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. So I'll urge all prospective applicants upon gaining the admission to take time and download this student handbook and read it thoroughly. So here are some little advices to all potential freshmen and women seeking admissions to their favorite universities in Ghana. And the first is to secure accommodation to have a stress-free life on campus. Register all your courses for the semester online at the official university's website. Building networks will let you gain lots of exposure and enjoy the benefits that comes after. Enroll yourself in internship programs and gain work experiences from other companies and institutions. Also gain exposure by traveling abroad for foreign exchange programs because the best time to travel abroad is when you are a university student. Also try to maintain a very good grade point average in your academic records and graduate with at least a very good first degree. Involve yourself in academic group discussions. So nowadays there are a lot of WhatsApp groups, Zoom meetings, Google Classrooms where you can have such discussions. Lastly and most importantly, trying to stay safe and healthy and avoid contracting the COVID-19 disease by sticking to all the COVID-19 protocols. Thank you for watching and if you know you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so so you don't miss out on the bright side of university applications in Ghana. And my greatest wish is for us all to go back into normal times and things get back on track the way it used to be.